Hey guys, welcome to our review of Kamen Rider Zero One, Episode 5. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have... Marco Toa. Dude, we lost uh, uh, an Alex yet again, but hopefully yeah. he'll join, us up, uh, join up with us again uh, in the coming episode. But this one was great. Um, you know, I, I thought it was... I thought it was really um, a little bit rude for Aruto to start being super judgy uh, about the manga artist and telling him what to do. But ultimately, like, it was in service of a really great lesson, really great great story. Um, I liked that it spurred on um, Izu, was the Human Gear's name? Izu. Uh, uh, the, the one we... <clears throat> Aruto's. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think, I think so. that yeah um it, i love how it spurred her on to like do her own yeah. sort of research and on top of that we we sort of got the i guess uh development that oh hey they're not just targeting any random uh human gear it's the ones that obtain uh uh sentience. self-awareness yeah self-awareness yeah. um so. And I feel like maybe there's some causality between um, what Haruto's up to and how he relates to the human gear that spur on that sort of development. So you think that it has to do with him interacting with them? Because, I mean, I feel like he hasn't always. Like, the one, uh, the first one, for example, right? The abs dude? He didn't Mm -hmm. really do anything with that guy before he well, got not, I mean not all of them but I'm saying okay. like oh the the uh police one he you know helped him out he showed yeah. him what but you know but this last one I think that one gained sentience just because of his sort of frustration with being overworked you know mm-hmm. it's different circumstances but I feel like sometimes it might lead to uh, at least with Haruto, because he he cares for them as people. Yeah. Um, that's because this of... time, like he the the robot actually um, reacted when the other one fainted, and he was like pushing him around. The the artist, yeah. Yeah. like he got up. He's like, yeah. "What are you doing, getting up? If you're gonna stand up, why don't you go get groceries?" Like that was like, "Why did you stand up then?" So yeah, I I think that you're you're on to something with that. He's some of these are actually be- developing something. Yeah. So. And I just think, because it, it is weird that a lot of it is is just happening around our main character. Uh, yeah. And I feel like at least, at the very least, like half of them are sort of caused by him. And that's like why it, there's yeah. such a higher volume. Okay. Uh, huh. At least that's how I'm, I, that's how I <laughs> want to rationalize that. Yeah. Because, like, it is weird week to week. I mean, it it is also going to be kind of in the nature of, like, okay, so what makes this uh, relevant to the, you know, story of the week as well? So, I mean... I I guess I should say convenient week to week. So if there is some sort of causality to it, and it's related to our main character, it would make a lot more sense. It would. It would. Um, I do want to note, though, like... I absolutely love the aesthetic. I'm sure anybody watching the um, the watch along with us could tell that, like, I like, you know, the characters and stuff, furries and whatnot. Um, but at the same time, I was not exactly... It's not that the, you know, the fact that the character I had a problem with as an, um, you know, kind of overweight, you know, <sighs> representation. Maybe that is what I'm ta- trying to say. What am I... I think what I'm trying to get at is the the way that they presented this mangaka, I really hope isn't like some kind of stereotype that is some kind of commonplace thing. Mangaka are lazy or don't want to put in the work and stuff because more often than not, they're overworked, (laughs) you know? So it's weird like to see this, this character that's a mangaka who's like, lazing around and acting you know selfishly like that Mm -hmm. i don't know um i just hope that it's not something that's that's i don't know well i did i did really appreciate i i appreciated the the whole thing of like 
uh, a person trying to regain their passion. Um, mm-hmm. And then also, they did show us a representation of sort of overworked mangaka, because he wasn't a mangaka at that point. You know, he had the title, but really it was the Humagear. And this show yeah. seeks to humanize Humagear, right? And I okay. feel like that that keyed into, like, the... I feel like they are... They're the ones that um, we are trying to to develop humanity in, and to see that sort of aspect in them. Okay, um, you're right because yeah, technically they are the mangaka in this. Yeah, so no, the fact he's that not the even ones... doing the writing. Yeah, anymore. Okay, so at that point he's like the publisher or just the owner of the rights, and he's just bossing everybody around. Yeah, interesting. Okay. That that helps a little, little bit more with me feeling, you know, okay with this but, way I mean, this unfolds. I, I will say, you know, if if given that opportunity, I might fall into, like, I personally might fall into that position. Anyone could. Like, mm-hmm. if there is an easy way to make your art happen, you know, would you yeah. then fall into that, that I guess, rhythm? Um, yeah. Because, you know, as much as and this is speaking as as an artist as much as i like doing art it takes time and it's a lot of work. i yeah and i don't always feel like doing it that's why art is slow for me and if i had the ability to like you know uh uh generate art in that form or at least mm-hmm. uh you know like with video editing even it's like if there was a way for me to like record it and then give off into existence and then it <laughs> somehow ends up on the youtube channel i'd do that in a heartbeat there would be no there would then be no soul to it and it would be like a factory which is kind of like what was happening here <clears throat> so yeah. and i i i could see that easily backfiring because as much as i'm putting hard work into it now uh that gives me more precedent to not want to do it you know what I mean? I think there's there's a give and a take, but I mean we're we're looking at something that's a bit more simplified, right? But but here's the thing: like this show is bringing up these topics, and we're able to discuss these aspects about even ourselves. Yeah. And I think in that um, this episode was very effective at uh, you know like <laughs> uh, shining a mirror at uh, the viewer, or at least you know. Again, as an artist and an editor. Yeah, so as an artist, between the two of us, yeah, being artists, we can see it from a different angle. Because yeah, and I was definitely that, like, mm-hmm. you know, like it, maybe it 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 serves as a cautionary tale. Like, um, you know, at <clears> least <throat> for people like us, don't get lazy in your passion. If there's an easier route, still take, you know, still put your passion into it. Hmm. I can see that. Yeah. I mean, I guess oh. we, we had two different kinds of takeaways from what was going on here. So there's yeah. more there's more to it that we can both glean. I'm sure some, mm-hmm. if, if Alex were here, he might have a completely different, you know, takeaway yeah. from it being that he isn't an artist. That's true. We can <laughs> well, we can also talk about Alex's not being here later. Uh, but this episode uh, was also very pretty. And I never want to downplay the fact that, um, you know, we have such wonderful choreography, especially with, um, you know, we have a new suit actor who's able to be a bit more agile and not that I'm trying to disrespect uh, the original Mr. You know, the one that has been doing it for almost all of Heisei, if not all of Heisei. I'm not sure. Uh, But it is it is exhilarating. Uh, to see some of these these fights. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's pretty new neat. actor, huh? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Suit actor, yeah. Um, did you have anything else I you wanted like to the, say about I like the form a lot. Oh yeah. I like the form a lot. That that uh is gonna be my new favorite right mm-hmm. now. I don't necessarily think that the finisher was all that amazing. Um but you know, he is he hits with the power of a hundred bombs or something like that. So something like that, yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah, good time. Um 
Do you have anything else you wanted to say about this episode? Yes, it's very important that oh. you know. Yeah. I am your father. Good. Oh, good, good, good. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Uh, tell us in the comments down below what you thought about this episode. And the watch along is up at the same time as this, so go ahead and check that out. Also, uh, it's not that Alex is like officially off of doing the reviews for this or that he was like kicked off for any reason. He's just got work. And we record this one later than we do Ryu Soldier, but then we post them oppositely. It's a whole thing, but he's yeah. got work. He's very busy, and we're trying to fit our recording schedule uh, in with his. So hopefully in the coming days, or in the coming weeks, we'll be able to have him on a lot more. Uh, but sadly, for the time being, this is the situation we're in. Uh, so send Alex some well wishes and also uh, thank you so much for like tons of people commenting on the last episode um, and I'm I have a feeling if I get more stuff wrong then way more people are gonna start <laughs> commenting uh, so maybe I'll get more things wrong Good just stuff. just for just for you guys uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks for watching keep it juicy see ya yep yeah, we got we did get a, a higher volume of of comments on the last stuff. It was pretty funny. <laughs> like that random one. Oh yeah, what what was up with that? What is it?